Have you been searching for a brand new community only 10 minutes away from the Orlando International Airport where there's an abundance of different floor plans? Well then look no further because I got you. Welcome to the newest community in Orlando, Everby. What's up YouTube fam? If you're new to my channel, well let me introduce myself. My name is Alexis Diaz and I'm Central Florida's real estate advisor and co-founder of the Evolve Estates Group. Our passion is helping people evolve in real estate so we go all over Central Florida and surrounding areas to show you what Florida has to offer. We explore new construction, resale homes, investment opportunities, local restaurant shops, and so much more. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notifications so you don't miss my weekly videos. Today we are in Orlando, Florida, specifically a brand new community that just opened. The builder is Pulte Homes and this community is called Everby. This might be the best community that has opened in Orlando because it's only 10 minutes away from the Orlando International Airport. When I, if location is super important to you, then this may just be the community for you. So this community is gonna have 10 different phases and we are only on phase one. There's abundance of different floor plans, but today I'm gonna show you the Mahogany Grand, which it can be built from a three bedroom to a five bedroom, from three and a half bathrooms to five bedrooms bathrooms, two car garage, over 3,000 square foot. So let's begin your real estate evolution tour. All right, so before we enter the house, I just want you to, to be aware that we do have a front porch here. So this is perfect if you wanna have some seating just like they have here. It's a beautiful day in Orlando, Florida. Now we're walking into this home. So this home, as I mentioned, can be um, constructed in a few different ways different bedrooms and depending on what you do is gonna decide on the square footage of the home, okay? So as you walk in, we have a long foyer here. We have two tray ceilings, so it's kind of separated. To my right, we have a flex space. So in this flex space, you can use it as, a, as an office, as a sitting room, whatever your heart desires. We have two windows in here. Man, a lot of that natural light is coming in. You can also have it so that it has the double doors. You can put French doors. Remember, these homes can be to be built. So that means you're picking out the floor plan, you're picking out the structural options, you're picking out the designs and, um, and so much more, the lot, right? And then they also have options where it's move-in ready homes or quick move-ins where they pick out everything. So if it, if, if you love how what they picked out, how it's structured, then you can just go ahead and choose one of those. So it's, you have options here, okay? So come on this way. Of course, this is the model home, right? So um, there's gonna be a lot of upgrades in here. They do have, if you're building to be built, they have just standard features. If you wanna know what those are, just reach out to me and we can go over those together. We have a linen closet here, which has four shelves. This would be perfect for your bed sheets and, um, and your towels. So we have bathroom number one, 
beautiful quartz countertops with the cabinets and then we have actually a step-in shower so for this model the towel goes all the way up to the top and that's something that you can choose to do as well remember this is a model right and you could build it how you would like to build it with the available options so now we're going to go into bedroom number one which faces the front of the house so as I mentioned, bedroom number one faces the front of the house. We have two windows. It does have carpet, but again, if you're building from the ground up, you can go ahead and put tiling, carpet. They have different levels, whatever fits your family needs. So right now, this is um, this is a stage as an office, but again, it is a bedroom. You have closets here. So you have the sliding, the double door sliding closets, more than enough space for all of your um, you know your clothes as i always mention you could go ahead and just add a double rack you could have it customized um with the builder but honestly it's going to be much much um much much more inexpensive if you do it yourself or hire an outside company okay so we have a lot to cover because this house is absolutely huge so let's continue all right so this floor plan again is the mahogany grand and the base price is starts at seven hundred and eleven thousand. $390 okay so this is that's just a base price that's not including the lot that's not including your structural options or the design center okay so as we're walking in after the hallway we have just this closet here you know you can do what they did here I absolutely love this option they have built-in shelves they have some drawers so I don't know what you would use this for because you do have a separate pantry but again if you have if you need storage then this is perfect so it's off of the kitchen now to my left this would be perfect for either like maybe a bar area like they have here with some wine or you can you know how I feel about coffee I love coffee so this would be a perfect coffee station as well so you have the 42 inch cabinets here do they look like 42 inch or 36 no they look they definitely look 42 so you have 42 inch cabinets, you have upper cabinets as well, but again, that's definitely gonna be an upgrade. Just remember when you're seeing this house, this house is heavily upgraded, all right? Because it is the model. So you have the quartz countertops over here. You even have a um, uh, either like a little refrigerator or a wine cooler, but that's separate, that's an upgrade, but you can do that if you wanted to. My in-laws actually built from the ground up as well, and they bought this afterwards. They said it was so much more um, affordable doing it afterwards than doing it with the builder okay so this is a beautiful area that you can your bar your coffee station whatever your heart desires now this is an open floor concept okay so we have tray ceilings in the living room you can have built-in speakers as well just like they have but look at this space it is so spacious in here I absolutely love these lights it gives me like an industrial type feeling right type vibe I think I don't know I'm not really good with like the boho chic modern and all that those work I don't know anyways this is perfect for your 100 inch minimum TV you guys know how I feel about that 100 inch minimum especially for this size house okay so this is the family room as you can tell you have more than enough space they have chairs they have a long sofa they even have um, some end tables a big table in the middle so we do have sliding doors which we're gonna go in just a minute but I want to let you know that they do have pool packages here so if you're building from the ground up you can actually build a pool but keep in mind is that if you build with the builder you're gonna pray you're gonna pay a premium for convenience right it's definitely gonna be cheaper if you build the pool after you close so that's something just to take note of now we are walking into the dining space so this dining space has six chairs with this rectangular table you can definitely fit on another um, chair at each end to make it eight but again if you have a smaller family but you like the big house and you have a lot of grandkids kids whatever i say that because my mother-in-law did not know what she was getting into she has a huge house just like this and it's just her and my father-in-law but my husband and i have six kids and so yeah, she needs the space, especially when we come here. And I know a lot of people are like, six kids? Yes, my husband and I have three biological sons, and then we were foster parents, so we adopted a sibling group of three. So we have four boys, two girls, and then my husband's brother has two kids. So um, when all of the grandchildren are together, there's eight of them, so they definitely need the space. 
So if, you're, if this, your situation is similar like that, this is a perfect space. Again, this is all just decorative. Um, you could do something like that if um, after you close, but that's definitely most likely not an, um, an option, okay? So you have those two lights, which I absolutely love. But let's come in to this kitchen. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely amazing. Look at this island. Come on guys, you know it's coming. I love islands because I'm an island girl. I'm from Puerto Rico. I'm also from Dominican Republic and I was born and raised in Staten Island, New York. So when I see islands, it just reminds me of being back home, being with my kids, the kids surrounding the island. We're chopping it up, talking about our goals, how we're going to get to them because a goal without a plan is only a dream, right? So. This is a long island. We do have the sink in here. So it's a, um, it's not even, it's like a porcelain single sink. We have, I love how the gold faucet looks. My favorite feature, the pull out, um, the pull out faucet. This is quartz countertops, right? So although the sink is in the island, you still, as you can see, have an abundance of space to put out your spread, you know, for the holidays. Just make sure you invite me, okay? We have the pendant lighting, so you can choose to have that. Um, you can have the light fixtures in the design center, but honestly, as long as you have it pre-wired, I'm telling you, it's gonna be more or less expensive if you just do it after you close, okay? Some things are very important, like pre-wire, structural, because those are things that is gonna be very, very hard to change, or maybe you can't even change after you close, but like things like that, just make sure it's pre-wired, and I'm telling you, it's gonna be much less expensive. So this kitchen is considered a gourmet kitchen. The reason why it's considered a gourmet kitchen is because you have the hood up here, you have have the um, the flat top so this community is electric and then you have the microwave over the oven I absolutely love that feature where the microwave is over the oven and the oven is separate so again there's 42 inch cabinets more than enough space to put all of your kitchen needs again these upper cabinets are definitely an upgrade so it's completely up to you you can choose backsplash you can choose what kind of countertops you want right so when you are building you can choose you have a lot of options all right so this is the kitchen we have drawers galore the dishwasher we also have another oven here as well so you have two ovens i love it i love it love it love it especially you know you making penny you making turkey you making oh that ham yes 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 so okay so this is the kitchen let's come this way because we could be, I could be in the kitchen all day. I love it. I love all the drawers. You can have it that is soft clothes. Let me see if these are soft clothes. They sure are soft clothes. You even have outlets on this side. You have cabinets on the side of the islands. Oh, I love it. All right. So the appliances here are kitchen aid. And here goes the refrigerator. This doesn't necessarily come with the house. You can, um, you can upgrade and things like that. But again, it might just be cheaper to do it afterwards. So if we come this way to this side of the house, we're gonna have the walk-in pantry. When I tell you this walk-in pantry is humongous, it is humongous. But what I love about this side is that there's a hallway, you have the walk-in pantry, as you can see, more than enough space. You guys know how super excited I get when I just love the house and I love the little things. And so, okay, pantry, did you know that they have like these wooden platforms that you could just put over those racks and it, you don't even have to take them off and it just looks super customized. So that's an option for you as well. More than enough space. So come this way, we have the laundry room, washer and dryer, doesn't necessarily come with the house. You can add it in if you're doing to be built. If it's a quick move in ready, sometimes they have the washer and dryer in included sometimes they don't and then um the upper cabinets are not included as well you also have a utility sink which we have to check if it comes included or if it comes pre-wired again it's kind of confusing because um you have included features and then you can upgrade and change and all of that stuff okay so come on this way to my behind me is the going to be the two-car garage you have more than enough space in here for your cars, your storage, so that's perfect there, okay? Now we also have a huge, 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 huge storage closet underneath the stairs, it's deep. You can put maybe your Christmas trees and all of that good stuff, storage, that's a perfect space. So this house definitely has a lot of storage. So if we're coming back this way, so all of the bedrooms, 
are one, two, three, four. I don't know if there's a bedroom upstairs, so we'll go check that out, but let's come this way. I really want to show you outside. Let's let's go outside. We have, as I said, we have the double tray ceilings here, and what I think is super cool is that you have crown molding within the split of the double tray ceilings, and then the tray, oh my gosh, I love this house. Okay, so now let's go outside. Let's just check it out. So this house, it goes on the biggest lot, which is a 60 foot lot, okay? and it can't not go on a smaller lot. But these are pocket doors. So you, it goes all the way, yes. All right, hold on. I'm so excited. All right, come on this way. So this backyard, it has a, an extended covered lanai. So the extension is definitely an upgrade, but do you love it? I can absolutely see you guys here with maybe in an enclosure, just, oh my gosh, just chopping it up. We are in Orlando, the premier, seriously, no lie, this is the best location. 10 minutes away from the airport, we're only about 15 to 18 minutes away from the VA hospital. We have hospitals galore here, we have shopping galore. This is the time to get into this community when it just first opened. We're only in phase one, there's gonna be 10 phases. So within every couple of sales, the prices keep going up. So imagine what the price is gonna be a couple of years from now when they close out the community. There's gonna be two clubhouses, event spaces, Oh my gosh, a, a state-of-the-art fitness center, walking trails, restaurants. Oh, I am, I am so excited. Come on. So as I mentioned, they do have pool packages. So this has this house does have a pool, very, very large. I'm thinking uh, in a pool like this large of a size is definitely starting in the $100,000. And you heard that right, absolutely. So as I mentioned, the, these lots are a 60 foot lots. You do have some waterfront lots. So the lot premiums are gonna range in where the, if you have conservation, if you have a water lot, if you have rear neighbors, right? So it just absolutely all depends. I am so excited. Let's continue the tour. What did you think about the backyard? Let me know. Do you like a pool? Do you want a pool? Some people are like, you know what? I do not want a pool. It's just high maintenance. I am not here for it. Some people are like, I definitely have to have a pool. So come on this way. So to my left, off of the dining space, we're gonna have another two bedrooms plus a full bathroom that they are gonna share. So let's go, let's call this bedroom number two. All right, so bedroom number two faces the back of the house. We have one window in here. Again, we have recessed lighting. Depending on what you're gonna do, it will be pre-wide for a light and a ceiling fan. You can add the ceiling fans at the design center, but it's gonna be cheaper if you do it afterwards, okay? So this is bedroom number two. It has the same sliding closet doors as bedroom number one that face the front of the house. All right, so we have the extended baseboards as well. Again, I am so excited. I'm a little bit out of breath. That's how excited I am. So let's go check out the bathroom that these bedrooms are gonna share. All right, so before we get to the bathroom, we do have a linen closet here. It has the four shelves. It's pretty deep, more than enough space to put your towels and things like that. So we have bedroom, let's call it bathroom number two. Bathroom number two has that same single sink with the white sports countertops. And then this one actually has a shower tub combination. So it's gonna have tiling going all the way up to the top, but that is definitely gonna be an upgrade. So you would just have to see which one you would like. And then I am here for those gold faucet handles. I absolutely love it. So now we are gonna walk in to bedroom number three because bedroom number three is right across and then this is a very very nice space i absolutely love it it has the recessed lighting it's going to be pre-wired for a ceiling fan it faces the side of the house so you do have one window in here we have this room is big enough to have two twin size bed side by side on each wall plus still more than enough space in between you have these treasure test test <laughs> treasure chests um on the uh <laughs> in front of the beds and things like that. So here we go. We have a sliding closet door as well. I absolutely love that there's two beds in here because that can bring me to my next point. What you can do is that you can always just add another one of these so that one child can have one rack and the other child could have the other rack so that you can go ahead and they feel that they have their own um, independence in the closet, okay? So let's keep going. 
So you definitely have the option of making the doors eight foot doors because the ceilings are high enough. As you can tell, there's eight foot doors here. So that is, it just makes the, um, I feel like it just makes the house a lot, seem a lot bigger, but this is a big house, right? So before we go any further, I just wanna make sure that I let you guys know, if you decide that you wanna work with me, the best way to uh, get in contact with me is in my YouTube, there's a link, it says Calendly link, you click on it and you, um, whatever, you click on whichever one pertains to you, whether you're a builder wanting to connect with me, a buyer, a seller, or an investor. Not only do I help buyers, but I also help sellers sell their homes to evolve in real estate, whether they're downsizing, upsizing, or relocating out of the state. Okay, that's gonna be the best way to reach out to me. If you call me, that's perfectly fine. You'll get my assistant and then she'll go ahead and put you on my schedule anyways. The reason why I do it this way is because when I wanna make sure that when we speak, that we, I have, you have my absolute undivided attention. That's very, very important to me because connection and relationship is what I thrive on, okay? So now we're gonna go to the master bedroom, which is on the opposite side. It's off of the family room and it faces the back of the house. All right, so as I mentioned, the master bedroom faces the back of the house, which I love because it faces the backyard. So if you have that pool, you could wake up to that and be like, yes, I did this, absolutely. So you have two door, uh, two doors, two windows, a lot of natural, actually you have three windows in here, oh my goodness. So you have three windows, a lot of that natural light. As you can see, there's a king size bed. You have big, um, it looks like they're using dressers as end tables. You have this full size uh, dresser here and then you also have a seating area. So this is definitely a great size master bedroom. Now let's go check out the master bathroom. All right, so walking into your master bathroom, we have the double sinks, we have the um, two cabinets, and you guys know that I love when they put drawers in between the cabinets. You have more than enough space in between the sinks because you already know, be like, move your stuff that is on my line. You guys know that, you guys all know we have that invis envisionary, no, invisible line, invisible, invisible line, right? So we have the drawers in between. So just keep in mind, so most likely when you are building or if you're doing a quick move in, the same colors that are gonna be in the bathroom are the same colors in the, um, in the kitchen, okay? So that's just something to keep in mind, but we have the big mirror, we have the um, light pendings on the top, but let's talk about out this master shower yes it is a walk-in master shower you have the window on the top I absolutely love that they put a towel holder there I love that oh my gosh but you know what I would do I would put no but I don't even know because if you put the elect you know like the towel warmers I love when my towels are warm just got out the uh the I was gonna say the oven just got out the dryer it would feel so good but I don't know if you could put that there because water and all that stuff so no don't let's not do that okay so but then you have the niche here you have a bench there as well you have a rain um a rainfall shower head yes this is I love that it's walk in right you don't even have to step in you could just walk in so to my right we have water closet that's just where the toilet is held and then it has the closet I absolutely love that feature because your partner could be doing their business or vice versa and then you're still out here getting ready okay and then we also have a linen closet here with four shelves they must love four because all of the shelves are they only have four shelves in the um, the closets so that is the linen closet and then we have that water closet and then now we're gonna walk in to your master closet all right so I'm in your master closet and what I could appreciate is that this model has a customized master closet because I've been seeing some houses that are like six seven eight nine hundred thousand dollar and the model has the wire racks like let's go I'm pretty sure that this is definitely an upgrade but I like to see that it they have it in the master closet anyways it looks like they went ahead and got this from the container store if you if you like things from the container store me personally I feel like their their prices are a little bit on the high side but you could get this stuff at Ikea and it's super simple to install my in-laws did that their closet looks amazing they said that it was very very inexpensive and super simple to go ahead and install it because we all know that Ikea things is like it has 50 million different pieces and you're just like stressed out already midway and you like forget about it I know I'm not the only one. So anyways, more than enough space, you can customize it to however you your heart desires. And let's continue the tour because we still got a lot to show you. 
All right, now we're coming up the stairs. So the stair entrance is right before you get to the kitchen. This is the second living area. We have this huge loft. I love it. You have more than enough space in here. You have two windows, a lot of that natural light. But let's talk about these sofas. These sofas are super cool. It's just super comfy. Honestly, I just want to like, <sighs> that's how I'm such a kid at heart. That's what I wanted to do. These sofas feel so inviting. I love it. I love these light fixtures. I love this upstairs living area. I love when they have the upstairs living area, right? Because sometimes, you know, you guys can agree on what TV you want to watch, what TV show you want to watch or what movie. So one comes upstairs, one stays on the bottom or the kids and things like that. This is a perfect area for kids as well. As you can see, they have two desks set up in here, but you can make this like a game room. Oh man, I love it. So, all right, let's keep going because I could stay there forever. Um, let's check this out really quick. This is just a door that leads to an HVAC um, storage, but it's very unique because this is storage in here as well. So you could definitely use this as a storage. They do have two AC handlers, which I could appreciate because this is such a big house. You definitely need, you need two HV, uh, HVAC systems. I'm so excited, guys. When I am so excited, I speak so fast and my words get in, entangled and all of that stuff. So this is the storage area, more than enough space. All right, so on the opposite side, we have a bedroom and a bathroom. This would be perfect for maybe like your older child or if somebody's staying with you. So let's go check it out. All right, so this is the full bathroom upstairs. You have the single sink, again, the same uh, quartz countertops with the cabinets. And then you also have that shower tub combination up here. And then you have a linen closet, which is perfect because upstairs could have its own bed sheets and towels and things like that. So across from this bathroom, we're gonna have the bedroom that faces the front of the house. Honestly, I don't even know what bedroom we're on now. Let me see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Hold on, one, two, three, four. This is bedroom number five. Guys, this house is humongous, let's go. All right, so this is bedroom number five, faces the front of the house. We have two windows in here, a lot of natural light coming in here. And then we also have a walk-in closet. So again, this would be perfect. This would be a perfect incentive. Like, oh, you wanna be upstairs all alone with your own bedroom, your bathroom, and a walk-in closet? Boy, then we need, we need straight A's, or we need you to do the grass for six months straight. I don't know, something like that. Whatever incentivize your children, okay? So this is bedroom number five. Let's go back downstairs. I know, let's just review everything again because this house is huge. Let's go. We are back in the kitchen. You guys know it's my absolute favorite place to be. Do you love this house? What do you think about it? Is it the right size? Is it too big for you? Is it too small for you? Let me know because the builder has an, an abundance of different floor plans to fit your family needs. Now we toured the Mahogany Grand, which comes in three to five bedrooms, three and a half to five bathrooms, two car garage, over 3,000 square feet. So as you enter this home to the right, you have that den where you can use it as an office. You also have that front bedroom and then the bathroom right outside of it, which had the step-in shower. As you come into the main living space, you have the double tray ceilings in the family room, dining space, open floor concept. Let's talk about that kitchen, that beautiful kitchen with the extended lanai, the gourmet um, option with the rain over the stove top, the two ovens and the microwave over one of the ovens, the coffee station, that's what I'm gonna call it, the coffee station, and then you also have that walk-in pantry to fit all of your food storage, and then you have the laundry room right outside of that, that huge closet underneath the stairs, which is perfect, and then you have the two-car garage. Now, let's walk into your backyard oasis through the double sliding pocket doors. You have the covered extended lanai, the optional pool. Coming back into the house off of the dining space, you have the two bedrooms and then the full bathroom that they share across the way off of the family room. You have your 
beautiful master bedroom with the three windows, that master bathroom with the two sinks, the drawers in between the cabinets, the walk-in shower, and then you had that walk-in closet. Now let's go back upstairs. We're gonna check out the second living room, also known as a loft, more than enough space for your family. And then you also had the bedroom and the bathroom up there as well. Now that is it as far as recap of this home. So again, the base price for this is $711,390, but there's an abundance of floor plans. So the lowest floor plan is going to be the townhouse, right? And the base price is $411,990. Okay. But then you have townhouses, you have different floor plans of the townhouses, you have bungalow style um, floor, uh, bungalow style houses. And then you have your regular two story or single family home with the garage in the front. Okay. So there is an HOA, but remember, think about what you're getting in this community. It's gonna be 10 phases. There's gonna be two amenity centers, clubhouse, um, event space, pools, state of the art fitness center. You have walking trails. We're 10 minutes away from the airport. So the HOA for this specific um, 60 foot series is $113, okay? And then there is in CDD, and the CDD depends on what floor plan, which, um, uh, what lot you have, right? So for a 60 foot lot, the annual CDD is $2,900, but you pay that monthly, so you just have to divide the 2,900 into 12, and it gets rolled into your taxes, okay? And then, um, as I mentioned, an abundance of different floor plans, the location, 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 this is the community. If you get in now, by the time this, this community closes, you're gonna have equity. Oh my goodness, there are people from Lake Nona that are actually selling their houses there and moving here because of the location. They have an abundance of different school options. You also have like five different private school options in the area, this is the place to be. 417 to 528 is down the road. This is location, location, <laughs> location. If location matters, this is it. Remember, the base price starts at 411,990 for the townhomes, and they just keep going up depending on what floor plan you like, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this tour. There is an abundance of different information because what the included features are, the move-in ready homes or the quick move-in ready. So just reach out to me and I'll give you all of the information that you absolutely need. Please, if you found my video helpful, and I showed you this community, Everby, please reach out to me. Do not come to this community without me or let them know that I'm the one who sent you so that I can, I can help guide you through the entire process if you decide to buy here because you have to keep in mind is that when you are dealing with the builder's agent, they are faithful to the builder, right? They represent the builder. So you want that outside representation, okay? Um, my information is below. If you love me and you love my videos, just go in my YouTube and look at all the other areas that I cover. I cover all of Central Florida from Ocala to Tampa and everywhere in between. And stay tuned to my next video.